Did you know that Airbnb just started a $10 million fund to give homeowners $100,000 to build wacky, unique rentals? It's true, they did. And that 100,000 means to uh, each uh, person or homeowner that is selected. So you could get $100,000 to build a wacky rental. That's right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is uh, John. Um, I do videos on investing um, and also I'm starting to do more content on real estate. I also have done 700 plus short and medium term vacation rentals, short term rentals, whatever you want to call them over many years, um, all through properties here in Southern California. I'm doing a lot more content on that subject and also coming out with programs here pretty soon on how to do it yourself if you're interested. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go and take you into the article um, where we uh, where they talk about Airbnb and how they've started a $10 million fund um, to give $100,000 uh, to different homeowners to come up with crazy, wacky rentals. It's actually pretty exciting if you think about it because they want really super interesting and unique um, experiences. I also have um, uh, followed a very interesting uh, person that t talks about Airbnb on YouTube, Rob Built. I haven't watched him in a while, but he does all these different, you know, tents and yurts and all this stuff out in uh, Joshua Tree and various parts of the country. And it's uh, pretty fascinating to see how many people stay at these places. Okay, everybody, let's take you into the article um, and show you what the deal is here. Okay. All right, here we go. As you can see right here, Airbnb is giving homeowners $100,000 to build wacky rentals. And again, that's from a $10 million fund. That's not total of 100,000. That means if you are selected as a homeowner, you're gonna get 100K, $100,000 to build your wacky rental, okay? Imagine sleeping in a spaceship or working remotely from a giant potato spud. Airbnb announced today, and again, this story was published uh, on the 23rd, which was yesterday. Well, here it is. It's June 24th. So this was published on June 23rd. So whenever it is that you're watching this video, this uh, release from Airbnb was on June 23rd, 2022. Um, that would allow more guests to pursue eat such wacky experiences. The 13-year-old uh, vacation rental company, Airbnb, will award $100,000 to 100 imaginative Airbnb hosts with quirky architectural concept, uh, concepts. While weird ideas are prized, the competitors' judges will also evaluate each applicant's engineering plans and will require proof that the rental can be completed within nine months. They'll also look for sustainable design elements and interiors that are as comfortable and unique as exterior. Anyone living in a region where Airbnb operates has until July 22nd to comply to the so-called OMG fund. So you uh, you can you only have till July 22nd, everybody. Uh, Airbnb says its $10 million initiative is a response to travelers' cravings for unique destination rentals. During a time when Instagrammable experiences are prized, the company found that jaw-dropping rentals tend to generate the most interest uh, and the most income for hosts. A listing under what Airbnb calls the OMG category generated an average of 48000 within a span of five years. And then they just have a bunch of, you know, wild pictures that you can see. The OMG fund is only the latest milestone in Airbnb's history of promoting unique rentals. In 2017, the company funded the construction of a stunning all-seater A-frame house to highlight Japan's beleaguered rural cities. It also helped revitalize the 13th century Italian ruin and helped make it a design destination. So um, that's it. So just kind of a couple different uh, funky, you know, pictures that they have here. Uh, uh, there you go, sleeping in your spaceship. So there you go, everybody. That is the latest uh, from Airbnb. I think that's very exciting. Um, a $10 million fund, I mean, obviously Airbnb has got a uh, you know really large uh, market cap today. Here it is, it's about 65 billion. Airbnb stock is up about 7% today. Um, but you know, they have a, a lot of money. And you know, I've said in even a previous video that I think it's possible that Airbnb could one day possibly become the biggest company in the world. I don't know, I'd have to do more research on that. Um, you know, but I just think that um, it's pretty amazing how they have really you know, kind of gone into to the whole you know world pretty much. <laughs> uh, Airbnb has, but anyway.
so there you go. Uh, again, that is a pretty significant fund, $10 million, $100,000. I don't know what you're thinking about doing. Obviously, you'll have to hire a, an architect to submit plans to Airbnb. I think something to think about is, for example, for me, uh, one of my properties is here in Southern California, and I have land, right? I've got quite a bit of land. It's about a 14,000 square foot lot, and I could put a something like a tent, build a tent or a yurt on part of the land, um, and so that I could maybe put a bed in there, um, um, or maybe, you know, kind of two extra sleeping areas for four people, something like that. I don't necessarily know if Airbnb would would select me for 100000 for that. But really, you know, that's along the lines of, 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 of uh, something that you could do if you already own a property and you could utilize some of that land to put like a really, really interesting, exciting yurt on there or tent where you could sleep an extra, you know, three, four or five people. Or you could just go out and you know, uh, I guess hire uh, uh, an architect or an engineer to come up with plans, but that seems like that could be, you know, a fairly significant investment for, uh, you know, uh, potentially <laughs> a, a limited return because, you know, you have to be selected. I think that if you already own a property and you already own land and you go hire an engineer uh, or have a friend that's an engineer that could kind of help you with it, um, that might be a better way to go because in that case, you're kind of coming up with a plan that you might use anyway. And if you're not selected, well, I mean, big deal, you're not selected. Now you've got a plan and you could actually, you know, then go and, and build that tent or that yurt on your land so that you could, you know, charge more uh, for more guests or have that as a feature where, you know, it's kind of exciting to have a, a yurt or a tent on your property because somebody might be with a, a large family and there might be a couple that, you know, wants to go sleep in the yurt when, when it's warmer outside or when it's not as cold. So it seems like a much better return on investment to consider uh, basically uh, doing that where if you actually have the land and you could, you know, kind of figure out a plot on your land where you could actually put that yurt or that tent. Uh, seems to be a lot more sensible to me. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, you know, go ahead and put your, your your thoughts on that in the comment section. If you want any more information, um, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to the article so that you can see it, or you can just go ahead and put a question in the comment section and I'll answer your question. Hopefully, you guys like that, everybody. If you like hearing um, exciting uh, investment ideas uh, and updates, uh, whether it comes to real estate or it comes to just investing in general, I do that every week, everybody. So consider subscribing to the channel, and if you like the video, give a like, uh, give me a like. It really uh, certainly helps with the algorithm uh, and it helps support my channel so I can go out there and give you great investment ideas um, and then also everything with real estate. I'm starting to do more content on real estate. If you take a look at my channel, you'll see a lot more um, videos on investing. I have a kind of a very unique approach to investing and one thing that I do is always look at the annual um, gross revenues. I also look at annual gross profits and then I divide those annual gross profits into the market capitalization to come up with a figure so that I can stack up all of my potential investments with everyone. I also look at year-over-year -year revenue growth, and I always look for 35% or more year-over-year -year revenue growth. That's what really signals to me a growth company, and that's what I like to invest in. Yes, they've been hit really hard in the first six months of 2022, but you know all that really means is that you, you have uh, an opportunity to get into what could be some great investments um, at lower asset prices. Everybody, I do have a background in investing. My first job out of college was Merrill Lynch. I also did investment banking after that, and then I worked for Sun America in Los Angeles for three years. Other than that, I've been investing uh, since 1989 and uh, was, you know, a part of the whole kind of, you know, dot com and all the Internet, um, you know, that whole kind of rise and then the fall of it, of course. Uh, and uh, I'm still here. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, very much for watching this video if you're here to this point. And again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments area. Thank you and have a great day.